Dear Colby kids, I really like your show. I learned a lot about the Lord from it. I have a big problem with my little brother. He shares a room with me, and because he's scared of the dark, we have to sleep with the light on. Matthew has a hard time sleeping with the light on. I guess I would too. Well, Matthew, trusting God when you're scared about stuff is kind of like what this episode of Colby's Clubhouse is all about. So make sure your little brother is watching. And if you have a question, or if you just want to write us, send a postcard or a letter to Colby, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Maybe we'll even read your letter on the show. Oh, that was loud. It's OK, Brittany. You don't have to be scared. We're inside. But what if a lightning bolt hits the clubhouse? Well, lightning usually only strikes tall buildings, Brittany. And, well, my clubhouse is not very tall. And besides that, Colby, why did God make scary noises anyway? Well, I do not know why he made scary noises, but I do know that God's ways are perfect, even if we don't understand them. Jess? It's just not fair. What is not fair, Jessica? My doctor just figured out why I'm so small. What do you mean? See, I know I've always been short, but I'm like a whole head shorter than anybody else in my class. Oh, my. So my doctor did some tests, a lot of tests, actually, and he figured out I'm missing some kind of hormone that makes kids grow. Well? It sounds like the doctor did find out the problem. And you say that there is medicine that will help you. I do not see what the problem is. Colby, the problem is the medicine. I do not understand. I have to take a shot every single day. That must hurt. Aren't you scared? Yeah. 
It's just not fair. Other kids don't have to take shots just so they'll grow. I have a friend who has to take insulin shots every day for diabetes. When she found out, she was really scared, too. But she got used to it. Now she even gives the shots to herself. It's still not fair. I know it seems that way, Jess. But just remember that God is always right there with you every moment of every day. It's okay to be afraid of things that you think might hurt you or cause you pain, Jessica. But just look at it this way. It's a brand new opportunity to trust the Lord. It's okay, Brittany. You can come out now. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I think. 
think the clubhouse is still standing. <laughs> Man, that was the best one yet. And the loudest. Well, God made the noisy thunder, Brittany. And he made the rain and the sunshine, too. And if you take a look outside, you'll see that a thunderstorm is a pretty awesome display of God's power. Wow, that made the whole sky light up, Colby. It's all a part of the way God made this world, Brittany. Even the noisy parts? Even the noisy parts. You see, God made this world for his children because he loves you and because he wants to take good care of you. people back in the Bible days, I guess he can take care of me today. Yeah. But, Colby, didn't people get scared back then, too? I mean, there were wild animals and armies attacking and all sorts of stuff I'd be afraid of. Why, well, yes, Saxon. As a matter of fact, according to the Bible, God told people not to be afraid 77 times, and fear is mentioned over 354 times in the Scriptures, plus thousands of references to... How about you just pick one of them, Colby? Well, okay. How about the story of Joshua and Caleb? When they all came back to tell the people about the promised land. That's right. Here, take a look at my monitor.